Oh, this is PSX2, and this is the last time we'll see this loading or this load game screen, you know. 85% uh, done. This is the the 11th part of Crash 2, and the next part, part 12, is gonna be the final one. So, two parts left, alright? We have Night Fight, Pack Attack, and Spaced Out, then it's boss time, alright? So, let's worry about Night Fight and Pack Attack in this part, alright? So, let's do this. Or, it might be, this might be the last part, depending on how long I take on each level, you know? So, you know, here we go, level 23. As you see, it uh, looks like Totally Fly, or it's the other way around, you know, this level looks like Totally Fly. Because Totally Fly is the last level, level 27, which we skipped ahead on to play, you know. I usually do that. I mean, as soon as you get to the level that has, uh, you know, ooh, no, no. You know what, this level has a death route, so that wasn't good. Um, that was lame. Yeah, but I, as soon as you get to the level that has the alternate route, I mean, there's no point in like skipping out on it. You just go there right away, you know, if you know where it is, which I do, of course. I've only played this game since uh, 99, you know. It's not like I haven't beaten it before. I mean, every time I play this game, I play it to 100%. So. I mean, it's not like I. I kind of. I want to complete each game I play, like as much as possible. If I have like enjoy the game, you know. Uh, you know what I mean. It's not, I don't like skipping out and stuff. That's that is. You know, I like to complete everything or as much as possible. There's a death route. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the music is kind of slow to change though, but there it goes. This more hostile theme, I guess you can say, or a hostile version of the level's theme. Oh, yeah. why the hell did I? Uh, it doesn't really matter because you know what? As soon as we get the clear gem, we will die. You know, there are boxes out here, but not a whole lot of them. So, what? I whoa, there we go. Got the gem in hand. Let's start back. Right before the death route. And... Yes, there we go. So, there are two boxes out on the death route. They're pretty easy to get, as they're they're in like the end of the death route area. So you don't have to really worry about any major backtracking. Probably could have done this level of a life. Cool. I probably could have done this level in the last part. Probably wouldn't have taken so much time as I thought. I, mean, I remembered backtracking to be a lot worse. I really did. I had, I think I had more trouble with uh, this level back in uh, back in the day. You know, when I played it when I was younger, when I was like eight or nine or whatever. You know. Um, and I think Totally Fly bothered me more, even though I f really think it's the easier level. Wait, do I? It doesn't have any backtracking, but it has that annoying stuff where you gotta, you know, break those uh, belly flop crates. Reinforce, yeah, reinforce crates. <laughs> belly flop crates. Oh, but belly flop crates. Uh, which, without the firefly, because if you have the firefly, he will just leave you and you're stuck to, until you score another one. You know. There we go. Pretty easy. Or pretty easy. What's very easy? Freezes there briefly. Usually it does. Don't know why. I think it has to load all those wonder fruits or something. I don't know. But here we go. Here, switch the path. Reunite again. And there are, I think, two jumps. Crap. That perhaps I don't know. And these are the only two boxes. That's freaking awesome. No, what? Where? There we go. I don't know why I missed that firefly. As I said, two jumps. Awesome. But I went out to the sides. You can do that if you like. See another checkpoint. So 
we don't need to worry any about anything. We can die how many times we... Ooh. Not that I should, but we can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two close calls there. Right when I said we could die. I guess that's... Oh, okay. Whoa. Alright. That was uh, weak, I guess. It was bound to happen since I lost as like and what I was like near death twice right before that, so. Then I died on like a static enemy, that's pretty lame. What the hell? And you see we're at the end of the level. So <clears throat> not that hard, really. I died a couple of times, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It took like six minutes almost, so not not a big deal really. So wait, maybe a pack attack will take won't take much time, will it? No, it won't because it's really easy. Easy. But here we go. Pack attack. Let's go. Level twenty-four. White to scrub. Or the last white to scrub. We'll see for a while. Uh, yesterday or wait today. This is going up on Monday, but I'm recording it on a Sunday, and this is around 10:30 uh, a.m. So the demo video hasn't been posted yet, it usually posts them around 12 in, uh, you know, the local time, Swedish, Sweden's local, so, yeah, you yeah. know. Um, uh, yeah. But it's, uh, it was your demo 54, and it was freaking awesome to finally we get to play that. I've been wanting to do that for such a long time. Okay. Don't really, I don't really care about them. I mean, they're so tempting to get, so I might as well get them. Well, as many as possible, at least. There we go. Usually when there's, like, clusters of Wampa Fruits, I really want to get them. But it, when it's just one, it usually doesn't really matter. Like that one. Could have done without that. So, here's a row of them. Pretty nice. To get them, our first checkpoint. Sweet. I really like the music here as well. Pretty cool. Die. Die. That's pretty violent. I mean, there's. Are those. No, they're. Aren't they. Cl yeah, they're like robots or something. Uh, as you see in Crash 3, when you get to the secret warp room in Crash 3, you see that they're. <coughs> made. Machine made. So I don't have to feel too bad about killing them. Or disposing of them, really, because you, don't, you can't really kill a robot, can you now? Spin those away. No dice. And boy. Well, it's easier to say that you kill them because, well, it's more fun. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. I've been thinking about getting uh, Quake 2 on PS1. I really wish they'd release, like, a. You know, with Doom 3, they released a BFG edition for PS3 and Xbox 360, or. I don't know if they released it for PC as well, but probably. But, you know. Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil, The Lost Mission. So the entire, like, Doom collection. Almost. I don't know if there's, like, Master Levels for Doom 2 and Ultimate Doom is in that. I have no idea. I haven't played, started playing that game. But I really wish they'd release, like, kind of a Quake Quad collection or something. They could call it, like, Quake Quad Damage Edition or something. I don't know. With, uh. <clears throat> there we go. With, you know, Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 3, or, and Quake 4. Alright, 9 minutes. Uh, yeah, we'll have time. This will, oh crap, this will be the final part. We will do Spaced Out. There's no point in, like, uh. Stopping now when we're on a roll here. I mean. <clears throat> let's see. 92%. Let's save the game real quick. So nothing uh, interferes or anything. Well, there we go. 92% done. Freaking awesome. We got a mask. That's even more awesome. But as I said, Quake Quad Damage Edition needs to be on PS3 and Xbox 360. I mean, I really want to play Quake 1, 2, and 4. I don't really care about Quake 3 because it's only multiplayer and I think it would be very popular online on PS3 because the kids today all only play like Call of Duty so 
doesn't really matter. It's not worth the effort, I think, to put it out there. I mean, it wasn't really worth to have... I think Doom 3 has multiplayer, and I don't think there's a lot of people playing it online, to be honest. I can't see myself playing that even, so... No. I mean, right now I'm playing The Last of Us. Oh, n <coughs> at this moment I'm playing Crash 2, of course. Uh, when it comes to PS3 game, I'm playing The Last of Us. Wait, what the hell am I supposed to do? Yeah, right. Never mind. And, of course, playing Oblivion as well. But, for the majority of the time right now, it's The Last of Us. It's a pretty scary game, actually. I didn't expect it to be, like, that scary. I don't think I've gotten very far, no, I haven't gotten very far into it, but there was like a section pretty early on where uh, you had to avoid a bunch of clickers. I mean, a whole bunch of them. You have to pass through like some uh, tunnel or something and then get a ladder up and escape from that place and there was like clickers everywhere. And the thing that sucks is the AI is like the cause of most of my deaths was like, causing deaths for me in that section because the clickers heard them moving around and talking and shit. So, I mean, what the hell is up with that? I'm, I'm being, like, as careful as I can be, and the AI is, like, screwing around everything. Just forcing around and talking and, you know, making loud noises. You know, running into, or running very, you know, loud. I mean, damn, what the hell. What's the point of being stealthy when the AI isn't? There we go, got the alternate route. Done. Let's uh, die. There's no point in like, uh, you know. No, what the hell am I doing? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Why did I do that? I don't know. Not the point here. Uh, but yeah, the AI. Why the hell are they like making loud noises when I'm not? I mean, I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible, and they're like, No, 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 we want to get you killed. God damn it. But other, other than that, it's really awesome. I'm playing on hard uh, difficulty from the beginning. Freaking awesome. I mean, it's really a challenging game, it really is. I mean, I died at like 5,000 attempts or, or 5,000 times or something, because, well, you know. I'm not used to it. You know. Oh, there was life up there. Doesn't matter. Why do you? Why the hell did I even jump up there to begin with? Ella? Never mind. Not thinking straight here. No. Why? <clears throat> Too slow, I guess. Let's. What? Really? I thought I was like, I was certain that I would like land on that dude there, and I mean kill him. All right, let's wait. Stupid ass blood mongrel. There we go. Where you go. That can't be too pleasant. But oh no! But as I said, none of them knew they were ro they were robots, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? But what the hell am I dying so many times for? I mean, I got the difficult section out of the way, right? Now I'm just... Oh, no! What the hell? Really now? I mean, snapping turtle, why am I freaking failing? I mean, I got the night fight done pretty quick, and I mean, now I'm just screwing around here. For no apparent reason. <gasps> Right, away you go. Away you go too. Yeah, checkpoint. There we go. I needed that desperately. Ooh. Ouch! Wowza! This bonus round isn't nearly as annoying as. Well, it's kind of annoying. It has another section at the end where you have to jump on a bunch of, you know. Bouncy crates, which really sucks. Hate we have to do that. I mean, that's my. No! Get up. Ooh. That was close. Kinda. What the frick did I do that for? 
mean, right here. Uh, let's. Oh, ooh, uh, not uh, good. Uh, let's uh, try that again, sir. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, I'm, I think I'm relaxing too much, not paying attention nearly enough as I should be. Just that. No, what the fuck was that? Uh, okay. How the hell does that even make sense? Never mind! Let's do this for real since this time. I don't even know if I have time for the boss because on the boss I might, like, fail miserably also. I mean, it's almost 16 minutes right now. I thought I could do this pretty fast, but no, now I'm gonna be slow and stupid, right? There we go. Yeah. Alright, let's do it like this then. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two, three, did I help? Six, two, after, me, There we go. Freaking sweet, finally got that done. Now we never have to do it again. 90 lives, okay. I thought I would like have 99 by this time, but no deal. Crap. Away you go. No, you can't. Be oh, wow, we could. If that wasn't in the way, you could do it. Ooh, that was kind of close. It looked like Crash gave him a blowjob. Not like it matters to a robot or anyway. Or anything, but you know, still. Pretty messed up. Ooh. How many boxes? Six to Okay. Die. Thank you. And there we go! Yeah, what the fuck? No. There we go. Finally. Alright, so. Last level is 100% done. We're almost 8 10 minutes in. So pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. You know what? We'll do Cortex and uh, the credits and all that good stuff in the next part. Alright? We'll watch the last hologram, since it's pretty, well, you know, special. <laughs> Yes! My plan is nearly complete, and I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for. Engine! What's happening? <laughs> What's that? Is he stealing our signal? Crash! Cortex isn't going to use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's going to harness the force and use it to power the Super Cortex Vortex he has built on his space station. You don't say. One blast of the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Engine, you fool! She's telling him everything! Ah, yes. We're, uh, we're, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash. Bring me. Um, what? What did he say? We knew. 96, 42, 25, which should be 100%, but I know why it isn't. So, uh, let's save the game. And, uh, we'll end the part, alright? Pretty stupid that you can't do it like I did when you have to unlock that portal to uh, Snowgo for it to count 100%. But uh, it doesn't matter. In the next part of Crash 2, which is the final part, of course, we'll do Cortex credits and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for part 12 coming up tomorrow. Also, stay tuned for all things PlayStation. Hope you enjoyed this part. But, well, for now, PSX2, going offline.